Mr. Ong Teng Kun has asked how SMEs benefit from our R&D effort. And I think uh, Ms. Nina Cham was also referring to that uh, obliquely. The answer in several ways, the R&D effort has assisted our SMEs in several ways that have enhanced their competitiveness. First, SMEs need manpower to develop and execute an R&D plan. The GetUp, which stands for Growing Enterprises Through Technology Upgrade Program, serves this purpose and is specifically targeted for that reason. This uh, interagency initiative, it's led by ASTAR, but it also involves EDB, IA Singapore, and Spring Singapore, it has benefited over 400 SMEs in sectors such as electronics, chemicals, and biomedical sciences, with the secondment of 460 ASTAR researchers. Second, SMEs need time to translate technology and intellectual property into commercialized products and services. Under the new Head Start program that ASTAR has launched, all local SMEs who collaborate with ASTAR will enjoy 18 months of royalty-free and exclusive IP licenses for IP arising from the collaboration. Third, SMEs need technology to be accessible. That is the goal of the Technology Adapt Adoption Program, TAP, which was launched last year. And under this program, teams of ASTAR intermediaries link SMEs with solution providers to customize and implement technology solutions, as well as conduct training for such technology adoption. About 200 SMEs in the construction, food, manufacturing, aerospace, marine, precision engineering, and retail sectors have benefited so far. And to foster networking and even more TAP collaborations, ASTAR is organizing its inaugural SME Day next month, involving businesses, ASTAR research institutes, and technology providers. There is scope for us to do more, hence ASTAR will expand TAP to the food services, healthcare, logistics, and infocom media sectors. And with this expansion, more companies will be able to leverage on technology to raise productivity and realize more business opportunities.